All right, Shalom. Okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bush, Shem Yahweh Shai, Barakah, the Yahweh Bush, Shem Yahweh Shai, Barakah, the Barakah Kadash. Okay, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our elders of GMS. Okay, and salutation and peace and much blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel, fellow laborers, the fellow sincere laborers that are filling up the gaps of the highways and the byways. We have here is types of implants as mentioning a brain implant, um, skin, dermal implant on the skin, invisible transdermal patch, uh, subdermal implant under the skin. There you go. That caragma under the skin, bioglass coated NFC chip injected under the skin right. dental implant and we've been oh man that's the spirit right there you know a lot of brothers keeping away from that dentist man the dental implant A dental implant also known as a endoceus implant or fixture is a prosthesis that interfaces with the bone or the jaw or the skull to support a dental prosthesis such as a crown, bridge or denture, dentures, or facial prosthesis or to act as an orthodontic anchor. Mm -hmm. This devil's just He's trying to get slick with it can't remove these it says here <laughs> people say oh man it's just an implant it's just the way they screw it in but that's what they're showing here illustrate that's the illustration they have here but uh you know the thing is you can't be ignorant of uh, satan's devices here um Again, we're going to be receive uh, uh, our new bodies anyway. You know, <laughs> hell, figure out how to fix your teeth on your on your own. <laughs> okay, let me go back here. Types of implants we have here again. Okay, for microchip implants that are encapsulated it in, in silicone silicate silicate glass there exists multiple methods to embed the device subcutaneous ranging from placing a microchip implant in a syringe or trocar and piercing under the skin I mean this is just so self-explanatory to the scriptures to cut open in subdermal and position the implant in the open wound a list of popular uses for microchip implants are as follows I made a video on this before you know how they're justifying bringing this in and you're seeing examples of uh, 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 what's going on with the economy is uh, credit card theft um, 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 
just robbery, um, um, these white collar crimes. So address book, uh, clearly, you know, just like with the pets, they started that with the pets. You lose your pet, and a lot of times, you know, you come look for your pet. Uh, your information is in the, on that chip that's in that parent, and it was on that plant. All your information, so they're able to find you there. Cryptocurrency wallet, keyboard, medical history, medical records, medical identification tag, payment cards, and travel cards. People, you know, other uses, either cosmetic or medical, may also include so you can pretty much read this on your own it's just devil trying to play God man. you know he's trying to play God arranging for car doors entry into building secure identity that's also been used to encapsulate or impersonate a user's identity, you know, identity theft. I had an aunt that got locked up and they made headline news, <laughs> you know, really made major news um, because she was stealing this woman's identity for years. And it made headline news when she got her ass caught. <laughs> Served a little time in jail. But it made major news, man. Oh. Um, medical records and I'm just going over this slowly just showing you that man these things is coming and these things you know prophecies is taking place you know and this is knocking and it's like I said we're not saying that it's coming is we're saying this this is already here this is already here and it's already been made and it's already been put into play when especially when you see the the progress of this, the history, reading the history. See, this has already been in a thought in these devil's minds. You know, going back to 1998, the first experiments with a radio frequency identification RFID implant were carried out in 1998 by the British scientist Kevin Warwick. This implant was used to open doors, switch on lights, and cause verbal output within a building. You see, it's so it's slowly progress. Not I said slowly. This is. 24 years that's pretty fast if you ask me um a sony established an nfc forum a non-profit uh, industry forum to advance the use of nfc wireless interaction in consumer electronics mobile devices and pcs standard include the four distinct tag types all right <clears throat> the key technologies develop first crypto crypto graphically secure human implantable NFC transponder it deflects so this thing you can see how it's just kept progressing through these few years And then from and that's 2018, 2019, just madness with the uh, with the jump shot and to develop an invisible micro needle patch used to store digital medical information along with the jump shot. 2020 revealed a company directed live video <clears throat> progress showcasing a pig called Gertrude with a coin sized computer chip in her brain. Mm. Devil's making moves, man. The devil's making moves. And Jake's going to get caught up all up in this madness. Why? Because Proverbs 1 came into play. They choose not to. Um, they choose not to, uh, the way of the Lord, you know. How Bush and Yahweh should I put the men of the Lord out there on the highways and the byways? 
You know, they scoffed at it, you know. The scriptures clearly say wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice on the streets. Jake's went straight up when, oh, y'all bums, get a job. That's how they see it. That's how they saw it. Even after hearing all the amazing wisdom and the warnings. Oh, y'all get a job. Y'all bums, go get a job. Bums. Threatening, threatening brothers physically and, and you know, with, I mean, physical harm. Threatening the brothers with taking the brothers lives, man, just for being a messenger, man. The scripture says, "Has I be, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And it's just another excuse for Jake to, for these damn niggas to, you know, to act a damn fool. It's just another excuse because they don't agree because their, their eyes haven't been opened. You know, these people are hypocrites, man. Crying peace and peace and, you know, and, uh, and, and, um, and unity. And these people are bloodthirsty animals, man. They're monsters, man. So with that, the Most High is going to send y'all, you know, his 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 uh his his whooping stick. <laughs> I think it's hypocritical. How's it? Here, we, yeah. I will send him against a hypocritical nation. A hypocritical nation. You see, Jake's just getting worse and getting worse and getting worse, man. You know? Getting worse and worse. But at the in the same breath, we must come together. <laughs> what the hell? Hypocritical, godless. Profane, hypocrite, and irreligious, and hypocrite, man. I'm always looking on the web search for the whatever meanings they give me. It's a habit I have. Good habit I have. A profane, a profane people, man. Godless people, you know. Impious, not showing respect or reference, especially for a power. Impious of a person or act, wicked. So these definitions is fitting these people, you know, it fits them quite well. They wear it, they wear it good, they wear it well, man. You know, this hypocr these hypocrites, man. The same breath with unity, come together, unity, unity, peace. In the same breath, we must overcome. In the same breath, uh, 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 they totally disrespect the truth. In the same breath. <laughs> monsters, man. These people are monsters, man. You know? So this is going to be their reward. I will send him against the hypocritical nation, against the people of my wrath, will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread down like the mire in the streets. people on their way out. This has been a worldwide thing to uh, <laughs> people are just lazy, man. Here we go. Building access and security, experimental usage. 
potential usage. Central bank digital currency, electronic identifications, uh, governments, infections, MRIs, corrosion. This devil did his work homework, man. <laughs> Immunity passport. For example, digital variants of vaccine passports doing infection. Infections have been has also been cited as a source of failure within within RFID and related paragment implanted individuals. Yeah, I did a video on that. A, little, a lot of the information that I where I found out where, where I got off information, it was totally it's gone. It's not even on the internet anymore. Maybe if I did do some more uh, digging, I can find how a lot of um, um, a lot of these karagmas, different forms of karagmas that people have gotten through the years and they've formed um, cancers, you know, and massive and tumors, cancers. But it says here, either due to improper implantation techniques, implant rejections, or corrosion of implant elements. Okay, MRIs. Cancer risks. Again, this is probably going to be deleted regardless anyway, you know. You know so, or what is it? Or medical advice or whatever? No. Man, I'm just going over what what's all over the net here, you know. Cancer risk. Stone identity, privacy, security risk. Risk to human freedom and not anatomy. Some have expressed concerns that technologies is being abused. Invasive technology has the potential to use to be used by governments to create an Orwellian digital dystopia in, in such a world self-determination, the ability to think freely and all personal anatomy will be completely lost. You will have nothing, you will own nothing, and you will be happy. I just Human beings will be essential digital slaves to governments, corporations, or networks that own the, mic the uh, Karagma technology. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's just say here, in popular culture, the, gen the general public are most familiar with my Karagmas in the context of identifying pets. Gary Walshit, 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 president of the last day's ministries, has argued that out of all the technologies with potential to be the mark of the beast, the, MO, the MOTB, Verichip has got the best possibility right now. Archangel, an episode of the drama series Black Mirror, Consider the potential for helicopter parenting of an imagined more advanced uh, karagmas. Transhumanism is a movement related to relate the implants and their relation to transhuman qualities of which karagma subdermal implanted individuals are commonly grouped together with. <sighs> Now I beseech you, brethren, this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 1. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shia, the Messiah, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled. You know, this is something we all going to have to go through, you know, all the brethren. So don't think that you're alone in this. You know, and then, you know what? And the whole world's going to go through this. And the brothers, you know, and the and the few sisters, we're all gonna go through this, man. You know, this is what they call the time of Jacob's trouble, you know. 
the hour of temptation. You know, you know, so hey, uh, which the word patience means to suffer, man. You're gonna have to sit your ass down and, and wait patiently till till listen, till the till this over till you know, till we're just delivered up out of this madness, period. You know, till we just delivered. We look it up all the time. The word patience, man, you know, and it's going to be tried. It's going to be, tr everybody's patience is going to be tried. It's going to be tested, man. You know, patient, you know, capable of enduring misfortune, suffering, capable of enduring suffering without complaint. Now we're complaining that this devil get destroyed, of course, you know. We're going to complain. Bearing, supporting, suffering, enduring, permitting. As slow to anger, self-restrained. And that's what these people lack is self-restraining. Oh, man, the, oh, I'm thinking of the scripture in 2nd Ezra. Uh -oh. They lack of restraint. It, it's um, it's not restraint. It's a word that means uh, lack of, they're like, they lack restraint. Oh man, I'll... here, let me see if I can find it. I'm thinking of uh, one that comes to mind is Second Ezra song. Is it nine? That's not the one I want though. Uh, Second Ezra is nine. That are those that are uh, uh, that have, that have bu abused their way, that abused their freedom. Let me see if I can find this. Nine and seven, and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith whereby he have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land, and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in a pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. But such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place for repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Okay, that's one example. Um, let me see if I can find this. Six years or sixteen. Seven, fifteen, and sixteen. I'm not gonna spend too much trying time trying to fall find this. Um second is sixteen. Yea, in the spirit of the almighty power which made all things and searches out all hidden things and the secrets of the earth. Surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin, that will hide their sin. Therefore hath the Lord 
exactly searched out all your wicked works and he will put you all to shame. <clears throat> okay, so um, suffering, enduring, permitting, uh, self restraining, having to, having the temper which endures trials and provocation. Look at this right here as a waiting or expecting an outcome calmly and without discontent. The meaning pertaining to a medical patient. <laughs> Patience here, suffering. Patience. That's patient going into a hospital, you know. Patience. Patience, quality of being willing to bear adversities. And I went over this the other day. Calm endurance of misfortune and suffering. And these people ain't no spiritual and you know spiritually and physically these people aren't prepared for to uh, to endure patience, man. You know, through these tribute through these times of tribulation that are coming, spiritually and physically they're not prepared. So it says here. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yah Mashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first, and that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition, where you know that's this damn devil who who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the most high or that is worship. So he's put himself in that position of he's all, he's all, you know. This man is in trouble, man. So that he. As the Most High sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Again, the Most High hasn't all through all these thousands years, hasn't, hasn't, um, uh, for lack of better words, interfered. Um, so this devil thinks that it's just going to continue on forever and ever. So in his mind, he's thinking that he's with the, he has to be with me, even though all these bad things can still be happening in this world. You know, this devil still is going to make his, uh, you know, his, his, that attempt, that, that, that last push, you know, in his heart, in his mind, he truly believes that there's a Paul, small possible plant, uh, chance that, oh, uh, this, this plan of ours is going to actually will be, able, it, 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 it might work. It might just work. Remember ye not that. When I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. So this devil... He's a damn fool, man. He doesn't even know that it's the Lord. It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's allowing him to be in a position and do what he's doing. But in his mind, oh, man, this is, a, this is all me. Let me get the scripture here. Let me see if I can find the scripture in Isaiah. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Um... Uh 
ป้องฮอบีดฮีมีนิทนัตโซนีเลดัตฮิสฮาร์ตทิงโซบัตอิตอิสอินฮิสฮาร์ตทูดิสโตรย์และคัดออฟนาชันส์นัตอิฟิวฟอร์ฮีสัยฮ์อาร์นัตมายพรินเซสอัลทิเกเธอร์คิงส As he said here, as my hand hath found the kingdoms of the idols, and whose graven images did excel them in Jerusalem and Samaria, shall I not, as I have done unto Samaria and her idols, so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed His work, whole work upon Mount Zion and Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria, and the glory of his high looks. Here we go. For he saith, by the strength of my, this is devil. This is thinking, man. You know. In his mind, I mean, I can do it. I can do it. You know, because of my hands, I was able to do all this all these thousands of years. You know. <laughs> For he said, by the strength of my hands, I have done it, and by my wisdom, this man's a. Damn fool, man! He's a fool. For I am prudent, and I have removed the bounds of the people, and have robbed their treasures, and I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. This man's about to get destroyed. Only you who let will let. Here we go. For the for the second Thessalonians two saying, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of His mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of His coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power, and signs, and lying wonders, and that's that lying wonders that, you know, again just. All the reasons how they saying it's for it's for the better of mankind, the advancement of the human the human populations, you know, lazy ass people just need. <laughs> Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan, and uh, like I said, the, at this hour of temptation when. They're going to uh, make this thing, this karagma, mandatory, man. That time's coming. It's going to be mandatory for you, for you to be able to function in this society, this wicked, foolish ass, wicked ass, evil society, man. You know. And then should work up in front reveal. Who's coming? Is that the coming? Uh, is that the working of Satan with all power signs and lying wonders? And with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. So again, um, Proverbs one was again that wisdom cry without she uttereth her voice on the streets. <laughs> you know they receive not the love of the truth. You know, as that's the whole point of Yahweh Shem Yahweh. So I put this out there. On those highways and byways, for you know, it's you know, it's, it's showing you that his hands has reached out still to his people, you know, so that they might be saved, like it says here. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion. Part of that delusion is that the karagma is going to, you know, is going to save their damn lives. You know, they'll be they'll be able to function in. In this, in this society after the hard times that they're about to be confronted with. 
So, and for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Right. So, till next time, Shalom.